Hey there, is today your first time here? Or maybe your first time in a while? If so, maybe you're wondering exactly who we are and what this church is all about. Well, we'd like you to know that we're a group of ordinary people who are on an amazing journey together, following Christ. Our guide is the Bible because it's the divinely inspired Word of God and it will never take us in the wrong direction. Along the way, we hope you'll see that we are welcoming and spiritually passionate and that getting to know you is a big deal to us. We know that the road is rough sometimes, but we'll work really hard to bring you practical and relevant messages to equip and encourage you through life's ups and downs. We want you to know that we care about this community and we believe that it's our job to make it a better place. So no matter who you are or where you've been, we're glad you're here with us today. And we hope that you'll join us on our journey following Christ and living out His plan for us. So welcome to church. To watch us live on Facebook, go to the Facebook app on your device. Next, click on the search icon. Then, type in Liberty Ministry International USA. Click on the profile and scroll down to find our live stream. Please like and share our live stream through the following options. Next, open the YouTube app on your device. Click on the search icon. Type in Pastor Fidelis Mba. Go to the channel and start watching our live stream. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Then, click the notification bell to get notified whenever we are live or upload a new video. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. Let us begin this morning by praying and thanking God for the glory he has over us, and thanking God because he is love. Every morning is a refreshing of him. Every morning. His love comes anew in our lives. Every morning we have a new hope in Him. Every morning we have a reason to want to live even more because His love is always there to love us. Amen? So let us pray this morning and thank God for the love He has for us because He Himself is love. Let us pray. For the Lord, we thank you this morning, O oh Father, as we begin this service, O oh Lord, that your love is shining on us, O oh Father, and refreshing our lives, and giving us a new hope, a new reason to believe in you, a new reason to live life. Father, we thank you for your love this morning. Father, we love you, we bless you. We lift up your name on high, O oh Father. We look forward, O oh Father, to your teaching this morning, to your deliverance this morning, to your message to all this morning with love and bless you in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3 says commit to the Lord whatever you do and he will establish your plans let us commit ourselves and this service this morning into the hands of the Lord that he will guide it he will direct it that our deliverance will come this morning from ignorance our healing will come this morning our upliftment will come this morning let us pray and direct this servant to his Lord let us pray Rabba Mama Sekere Rabba Baba Father as we begin this step, O Father. We, we, we commit this servant to your hands, O oh Father. That you come and guide it for us, O oh Lord. Direct us where, we, we, where it matters to us, O oh Father. That direct even the message to us, O oh Lord. That it may mean something to us, O oh Lord. That it may be designed for us, O oh Father. O oh Lord, guide us, O oh Father, this service this, serve this morning, O oh Lord. For we commit it into your hands, O oh Lord. That we shall not have any destruction this morning. But we commit it unto you, O oh Lord. That we shall receive the full blessings of this service. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. 
Lord, do a new thing in my life this morning. Make the impossible possible. Make the, revive the dead things in my life to come alive. The hopelessness in my life to be hopeful. Lord, do a new thing in my life. Let us pray this morning. Let us pray. Father, Lord, do a new thing in my life this morning, oh Father. A God of love. Do a new thing in my life, oh Lord. Father, usher in more love into my life this morning, oh Lord. Where I have been hopeless, oh Father, give me new hope. Do a new thing in my life, oh Lord. Show me new ways to worship you. Show me new ways to walk in your life, oh Lord. Show me new ways to follow you, oh Father. Father, Lord, revive my, my hopelessness. Revive, oh Lord, my, my, my being, oh Lord. Revive, oh Lord, my life, oh soul. Lord. Help me, oh Father, this morning. Rabba maserere, raka baba barere, mama kerere, raka ra 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 ra. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalms 91 verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His his trust shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Let us pray and commit our man of God and the servants of God in the house under his shadow. That whatever they do, O oh Lord, will be according to your will. Let us commit them. That no distraction, no persecution, no temptations shall overpower them. In Jesus' mighty name, let us pray. Rabba mama serere bara, raka rabba ba serere. Father, we commit our Father into in your hands, O oh Lord. We commit the servants of God into your hands, O oh Lord. That you guide them, even their families, guide their minds, guide O oh Lord, even the message they receive, O oh Lord. Guide their friends, O oh Lord. Guide, the, guide your word for their lives, O oh Father. Even the word you have for us through them, O oh Lord. Guide them, O oh Lord, in the perfect will that they may be lined up in the perfect will of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Somebody raise your voice this morning Amen. and begin to worship Jesus, the one who is seated upon the throne. We adore you, Lord. There is no like you. You have triumphed glorious. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. We magnify you this morning. Come on, somebody worship me. Worship the King of Glory. The Lord of Glory. He has received the name above every other name. By the mention of the name of Jesus. Every knee will confess. And every tongue will confess that He is Lord. Ah.
petitioning for the sacrifice on the cross. He has paid it all for us, for you and I, for our family. I appreciate Jesus. Give me this this morning. Oh, he's a merciful God. He's a faithful God. Awesome God. There is no one like you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, King of Glory. Oh, Jesus, we worship you. We exalt you. Thank you for winning for us. Hallelujah. Yeah. Are we ready to praise him this morning? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Give him a shout.
really want you guys to stop. Sometimes we must be led by the spirit and must be sensitive. I really want you guys to stop. Because what we are doing right here is more than everything. God is happy right now. Jesus is so happy right now because we are praising him with joy in our heart. Amen. Guys, I didn't want us to stop. I didn't want us to stop. That's right. But we are praise the Lord. That's the way. That's the expression of our joy. Be oh, yes. in his house. Father, we say thank you. Church, man. We are praising you from the bottom of our heart. That's right. To also say thank you for everything you've been doing in our life. Father, we give you all the glory and all the praise. And may the name be always lifted up in our midst. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a time now to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to lift our voice and make this prayer according to John chapter 15. The Bible says, Jesus himself said, you can do nothing without me. In other words, and we've been looking uh, about the power. Our papa has been talking about power. And remember, right. as we just sang, the power is in him. He said, I will send Adonai me, the comforter, the Holy Ghost. That means he is in you. Lift all the voice and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, help me to Jesus. get connected more, to be yes, consistent Lord. in spending time with you. Father. In the name of Jesus, lift all the voice and make that prayer. There are so many things sometimes distracting us, but there's a way, there's a source, there's an intimate love if you have with him, you will carry the power because he's the one carrying the power. But if you are connected to him, if you are spending more time to him, Indeed, surely you will carry the power for your generation. Father, help us to be more consistent in seeking you, in having fellowship with you. The Tale Kati, the Namada Katiana, the Katuna Tale, pray for him to help you to be more connected consistently to him. Because the power is in him. As you are looking for him, as you are spending time. You are actually looking for the power because it's in you. As you are doing such, you are actually assuring you as eternal life. In the powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Matthew chapter 15, verse 28, the Bible says, Jesus himself, then Jesus answered and said to her, remember the woman, Jesus said something, that, that this is not for you, this is not made for you. But they, then Jesus answered and said to her, Oh woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as your desire. The faith of that woman was able to pull, was able to grant her what she was desire. You have desire, but you must understand that we need to walk by faith for that desire to come into reality in our life. I want to live a voice and pray. Even your eternal life is 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 is, is, is attached to 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 the walking in faith. Remember what Apostle Paul say that you fall the good fight, you run the race, but at the end you kept the faith. Father, lift lift other voice and say, Father, help my faith, help my Father, faith, help Father my God, God, in this time like this. Help, help my faith Lord. in the name of Jesus. Lift other voice and make a prayer. May the Lord help our faith today. The Bible says the faith of so many will go down when the time out there will be so dangerous. It will change and many will lose faith. Father, help our faith. Even today, as your word will be released, Father God, help us to grow, to increase 
Lord to help you to grow in faith for your faith to increase in the powerful name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we pray Acts Act chapter 7 verse um, I'm going to go ahead and read verse 60 60 you all know what uh, happened to Stephen as he was preaching the gospel verse 16 Acts chapter 7 says then he knelt down people are storming him to death the Bible said then he knelt down talking about Stephen then he knelt down and cried out with a loud voice Lord do not charge them with this sin and when he I said this, he fell asleep. You know, we are talking about the love of God in us. We are talking about the compassion. How can you explain a man who is being killed, stoned to death, but despite the father is dying, he still lift up his eyes on her and say, Father, forgive them. What the love for others. What the compassion in a man dying. Father, have Lift all the voice and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, quicken me with love, quicken me with compassion for my neighbor, for my enemy. Lift all the voice and make the prayer. Jesus himself was carried by the compassion. To heal, the Bible said, Jesus with compassion. God is love. We must love the people, we must love our enemy. Jesus. Amen. You may be seated now in God's house and welcome this Liberty Ministry International. Hallelujah. Our God is able. If you know he is able, can I hear a shout of praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You're all welcome to Liberty, the house of liberation. It's always an honor to have you guys in God's presence. This is our announcement time. Please, but before we take our announcement, those with testimony, please go ahead and contact Brother Aruna for your testimony to be taken. Hallelujah. Media, we can let the announcement run. Welcome to Liberty Ministries International USA. We are happy to have you here today. A general superintendent is Prophet Eric Sam. A branch pastor is Pastor Fidelis Mba. This year is a year of signs and wonders. 
Our weekly services are Wednesday Bible Studies and Communion Service at 7 p.m. Friday, Prayers, Healings and Deliverance Service at 7 p.m. Sunday, World Worship and Power Services at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. Command your day by joining us for a one-hour morning prayers Monday through Friday from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Every first week of the month is a week of spiritual enforcement. And at the end of the month, we host a three-day power packs program titled Pool of the Thursday Encounter. For tax filing purposes, we encourage everyone to fill out their information on the tithes and offering envelopes. Donation towards the completion of the new church property is active. May the Lord bless you as you give. Volunteer to serve in the house of the Lord by joining a service unit in church. Please do not pack where the yellow markings are next to the fence. Otherwise, you can pack anywhere around the shopping center where it's safe. Need a ride to church on Sundays? Please schedule your ride on Saturday for the transportation department. Thank you to all partners. Liberty has two partners. Liberty TV Partners, $20 monthly, and Liberty TV USA Partners, $10 monthly. Do you need counseling or one-on-one -on -one with the pastor? Then book an appointment on our Liberty Ministries International USA Facebook page or visit our website at www.LibertyMarylandUSA.org. Enjoy your stay in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Announcement continues. Everyone is reminded to send your testimony directly through the Liberty Ministry International WhatsApp contact number or church email address Liberty Ministry USA at gmail.com. Our online viewers are kindly requested to take special note. The intercessors are reminded of their nightly Zoom prayer meeting taking place Monday through Friday from 12 midnight to 1 a.m. They are also required to have a 30-minute intercessory prayer session before every service. These prayer sessions also include all those who are actively involved in leading any segment of the service at the altar. Failure, failure to comply without due notice will call for appropriate sanctions. Also, we are announcing that all departments are open for members to join. Those interested should reach out to any of the ushers and they will be handed a form. In order to maintain the sanctity of our worship service and uphold reverence in God's house, we kindly request that during service you feed your children in the designated children's room rather, rather than in the sanctuary. This help creates a conducive atmosphere for all worshipers to connect with God without distractions. Your cooperation in this matter is greatly appreciated as we strive to honor and respect God's house. Our week of spiritual enforcement commences tomorrow and our time of prayers remains as follows. 12 a.m. to 1 a.m., 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., 12 p.m. to 1 p.m., and culminating daily from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. with the breaking of bread and special anointing. So get your communion table set and anointing oil ready. And finally, the LMI leaders are reminded of their monthly meeting today at 3 p.m. prompt. Thank you all for listening. Happy Sunday. To watch us live on Facebook, Go to the Facebook app on your device. Next, click on the search icon. Then, type in Liberty Ministry International USA. Click on the profile and scroll down to find our live stream. Please like and share our live stream through the following options. Next, Open the YouTube app on your device. Click on the search icon.
type in Pastor Fidelis Mba. Go to the channel and start watching our live stream. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Then, click the notification bell to get notified whenever we are live or upload a new video. To watch us live on Facebook, go to the Facebook app on your device. Next, click on the search icon. Then, type in Liberty Ministry International USA. Click on the profile and scroll down to find our live stream. Please like and share our live stream through the following options. Next, open the YouTube app on your device. Click on the search icon. Type in Pastor Fidelis Mba. Go to the channel and start watching our live stream. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Then, click the notification bell to get notified whenever we are live or upload a new video. To watch us live on Facebook, go to the Facebook app on your device. Next, click on the search icon. Then, type in Liberty Ministry International USA. Click on the profile and scroll down to find our live stream. Please like and share our live stream through the following options. Next, open the YouTube app on your device. Click on the search icon. Type in Pastor Fidelis Mba. Go to the channel and start watching our live stream. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Then, click the notification bell to get notified whenever we are live or upload a new video. To watch us live on Facebook, go to the Facebook app on your device. Next, click on the search icon. Then, type in 
Liberty Ministry International USA. Click on the profile and scroll down to find our live stream. Please like and share our live stream through the following options. Next, open the YouTube app on your device. Click on the search icon. Type in Pastor Fidelis Mba. Go to the channel and start watching our live stream. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we happy to be in the presence of God? It's testimony time. It's testimony time. Yeah, we have some few brethren in the house that in the course of a week, God have shown mercy and they wish to return all the glory back to him. Please, without wasting time with a clap offering, let's wake up our evangelist in the house, no other person than evangelist Mori with a clap offering as he testified to the glory of God. Good morning, church. I'm here to testify the goodness of the Lord upon uh, my professional career. Uh, I just want to give him all the glory. Uh, uh, before uh, I get into it, I just want to say I uh, really want to thank God because I can see my journey in Haiti, how he took me. I remember I always say I don't like compromising uh, since I started in Haiti. So, and God is taking me from level one to level two to level three. And I'm just thankful. Uh, what happened uh, in my country recently, uh, I was supposed to stay there till August, but two weeks uh, uh, after, uh, before the end, they told me because the last day was uh, last month, 29. Uh, they told me, unfortunately, we won't uh, renew, extend your contract because the company is going through difficult financial difficulty. And all my coworkers, you know, uh, supervisor, manager, they, were, they didn't want to leave me, but it was so touched. I was just joyful all the time with them. I said, guys, you know what, don't. That's it. I'm connecting to the law. They all know, and I thank God for how He used me in that company to spread the gospel. I told them I'm connected to the law. I'm a Christian, and don't worry, God will make a way for me. Don't worry about it. And then uh, even my wife at home was like, "Wow, what, how are we gonna do?" I said, "Sweetheart, don't worry. God will do something." You know, when you know that, you know that, you know that. As a papa, what you say something happened so i wasn't even touched i didn't even pray about it and remember i even took out my resume online and then the told you are two weeks your contract is ending i didn't something was like go and put it on i said no way i'm moving by faith no way and they were so amazed because i was keeping coming and a few days before the end they were just always looking at me i said guys don't worry about anything if god want me to leave this company i will leave if you want me to stay i will stay we had already sent me an email the manager looked at me like I was crazy. Yeah, I was, I told him, don't worry, you will see. And then, someone working in another country in, in that company just said, hey, there's, an opposition, uh, there's a position available. I just applied. And then uh, just a couple of days before the end of my contract, uh, I was at work, I opened my email, and then I just saw an offer letter. With a, hey! A, uh, hey! And they co-worker were just around me. I, I was all in front of my computer. I said, hey, guys, there's an offer letter right here. Everybody was shocked. I said, what? Do you got the interview? I said, no. I've been telling you guys, I know the God I'm serving. I told them straight Don't worry, guys. I will be praying for you. If God, so God want me to leave. He want me to leave. So I was able to see the offer letter, everything. And then he's taking me even to a high level in the IT. Hey! Uh, I thank God even the pay increase things like that. And then I end their job, no gaps. I end that job Friday and the Monday I start a new job. That new job. Hey! Uh, uh, just to say, uh, our papa is keeping saying that, you know, and then I wasn't even told, even my wife can testify. I told her, sweet, don't worry. I can't serve God like this and think, don't know, no, I can't. What I'm doing in this house, I can't. I told, I know. I was just so the and when I was living, they say, you know. Pray, pray for us. Yeah, pray for us because there's hey! so something. There's so something in me. So I just want to thank God for how He shifted me in my level of faith. 
and thank for his servant, the message that is boosting us to walk by faith. And I give all the glory to God for sustaining, for job preservation in the name of Jesus. Everybody stand on your feet, stand on your feet. Now, 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 see, let, let, me, let me say this. This is a very deep testimony of the evidence of the hand of God. Now, now, trust me, we, we give God thanks for many things. But trust me, there are many testimonies that has compromise at the back. This is one testimony that has no stain or compromise attached to it. He decided to do it right. No fake resume. Nothing, nothing. Sometimes we pray for people who just say mercy. Because we know resume is not God. But this is a son who have decided to sort God and prove God to be true. Did you hear what is happening? They even bought him a pair of shoes. He did not say that part. Hey! <laughs> now, watch it. Your contract is coming to an end. You don't understand what that means. He's a family man with responsibility. Four children with a wife and also a mother. That I was, there are certain meetings that I was having, I'm holding today in for him. He's not aware. I am I'm a I'm a father. I've been bought about him. He's not aware. I have someone in a meeting today at the board meeting to talk about him. I, I'm sorry I have to say it now because I'm touched with the hand of God. I, I understand. We pray, but it's not like I see him and what he carries. And yet he chose that he's not bending corners. When God show like this, we wait a bit and give him praise. Because if we come and say God can do it without us bending, it will be that we have evidence in our hand. That we can do it right without bending and God show up. Why must the wrong way become the right way? And we have accommodated it in church. When we can have one testimony that can break protocol with integrity, impeccable integrity, we can hold the service and talk about it. As the contract is ending, with the, no interview, protocol broken. If that's not God, what else is it? I G that many haven't gotten job. Can you give me all praise for two minutes? Let's dance and tell the devil you are a bastard and tell God your name is glorified. If he's the doer of this testimony, in two minutes, let's give us give us a hot praise. May the wife give that testimony. Give a hot praise for two minutes. A hot praise. Quickly, quickly. My God. an awesome testimony man of God I will pray that may the grace of the God in this house continue to carry you in higher height in Jesus name please this is just a, an announcement if you are an usher in the house and you are sitting then you face some consequences brother Mark need uh, help in ushering please any usher in the house sitting please stand up and do your job praise the Lord hallelujah Please, with a clap offering, let's welcome our sister in the house, Sister Liziana, for a testimony. Amen. Please encourage her with a testimony as she comes forward in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, 
Blessed morning, brethren. Um, I would like to thank God for the life of my spiritual father and also acknowledge the leadership, Mommy Pastor Harris, eventually um, Rachel uh, Morris, and everyone else. So I just want to thank God for everything that He has been doing in my life. I have so, like, I have a lot of outstanding testimonies, especially as it pertains to my uh, career. But God is I mean, it's still cooking in the oven, and I'm definitely going to be sharing all of those in due course. But I'm here today to testify for divine healing in my life. So on um, Friday, I was privy to be here, um, and then um, I came on the, the prayer line for, uh, for the sick, and, and I was called. And our Father and Lord, uh, you know, he, he touched me. And I had a, actually, I had this crusading headache. I don't know how to explain it, but... Um, so starting from um, Sunday, um, last Sunday, when I came home, I started feeling um, this pain here in my, it was like in my head, in my nerves going all through. And I was like, oh yeah, maybe it's just, maybe because I'm, I'm always in front of my computer from like morning to evening because I have so much responsibilities. I'm always, I'm handling so many things. I was like, oh, maybe that's why I have the headache. And it just kept persisting uh, Monday through that Friday actually. And it would start coming like around 4 p.m. And it would come like every two hours. So, and then I, I honestly, and I thought maybe I also had a tooth pain. Because last time, I like four years ago, when I had that type of pain, it was because I, my, my wisdom tooth was actually hurting. But this time around, I, I even kept touching my tooth. I was like, there's nothing hurting. But why is it that it kept hurting? Like, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't focus, you know, undertake no activities. So when I came, our Father and Lord just he prayed for me I fell under power and when literally as I came back you know as I woke back up um, that he declared you know that you know he, he, he sent that devil back to the pit of hell so as soon as I woke up you know I couldn't feel anything and as of as I'm speaking as of today yesterday nothing I just I want go. to thank God like just for Jehovah Rapha for healing thank me you, Jesus, Jesus our doctor I'm just so grateful to God thank you so much hallelujah glory to God Amen. Your healing is eminent in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, with a clap offering, let's welcome our brother in the house, brother Fruit Bless, for a testimony. Please encourage him with a clap offering as he comes forward to testify to the glory of God. Good morning, brethren. Uh, actually, uh, today is my fourth day of worshiping with you guys. So it's my fourth day. My fourth Sunday, not the fourth day. Yeah, fourth Sunday. So actually, I have two testimonies to share. The first one is very short. The first one is that I'm standing here to testify. It's a testimony. Yeah, because uh, I, am, I am very difficult to understand some certain things. But if I... If I find myself here, it means there is a reality in this. There is reality in this. Did you hear that so, testimony? <laughs> yeah, that's the first hey! testimony. Then the second one, it goes like this. I have been in this country for four months, close to four months now. So uh, my dream has, when I got here with the little job I have, like moving, stuff like that, I have dreamt always of having a small truck. Like if someone wants to move, I get to maybe help the person and get some money. But yet, I was thinking no license, no driver's license yet. The truck also is not available, the financing and everything. So I just kept uh, pushing. So that was two weeks ago. I had a job with one lady. We were going out of uh, maybe a bit far around St. Mary's County. That's an hour drive from here. So when we were driving, we saw one truck parked. I told the, the lady, please stop. Let me see this truck. She stopped. I went, checked the truck very well. I did not have, I was just checking the truck. Like, it's a, it's, a, it's a car I love. Let me just see. I don't know how, I know it's not possible to get it, but let me just check. So, uh, I went there, I checked the truck. After checking, the lady came down from her own truck. Her own truck has been disturbing us for the past two months. So, she has the intention of changing her own car too. So, when we saw the truck, she was interested. I too, within me, I had that urge to have the truck. So, we continued. I took the number on the truck. We continued when we got to our destination. I gave her the number to call. She called 
and the man said she'll be, uh, he'll be available by 6 p.m. We were done. We, we finished what we were doing there. By 6, when we were coming back, we stopped there. So the man gave us the price of the truck. I was like, how can I raise this money now? It's not even possible. So instantly, the lady called the husband that she has seen this truck. She likes the truck. Maybe they can take the truck. But the, the man said, no, that truck is not good. I began feeling something that this truck, this truck is mine. Even though I don't have the money to pay this truck, but this truck is mine. This truck is mine. So I had that courage. We had to drive the truck just around the place. When I got home, I went down on my knees. I said, God, this truck is something that I've always, I've always longed for in this country for a start at least. Let your will be done. So I called the man back again that night. I said, sir, now you gave us the price of this truck. There's another person that wanted to buy the truck even before we got there. He said, the person is coming in the morning by 6 a.m. to get the truck. Had it been we paid yesterday, that's the day I was after the prayer, we could have collected the truck. But now that I did not pay, let's just wait and see. So the next day in the morning, I woke up. The first message I saw on my phone I have other small businesses in Cameroon. I saw a message that three million has been deposited in my account from Cameroon. That already, that already could pay the truck here. But now, the truck wasn't mine here. So I was still contemplating. The man confirmed that the other person that, had came, that, that came before for the truck is really interested and he needs to see the person and confirm with him if he's not taking the truck or not. So I was like, how is this? How am I going to do this? So, I just kept praying. The man said I should call him back by 9 a.m. that day. I called him at 9. He said, no, the guy that is coming to take the truck is coming by 12. That I should call him at 12. If the guy is not coming, I should come and take the truck. At 12 noon, I called that man. He said, the guy said 2 p.m. But if I have the money cash, I should come and take the truck. So now, I started making calls with friends who can help me get there because I have, I still had the means of transportation to go there. I did not have a car to drive, you know. So finally we got there. I paid the truck. Please, can I have the images of the truck? Hey! That's the truck. Hey! That's the truck. Hey! Four so, months in the US. Four months. So uh, by faith it was purchased. The three million he spoke about was not money he kept. It landed when his faith came alive. <laughs> ah! Uh, like seriously, this money, I have been expecting this money long. But it wasn't deposited. Look at that. It just came the day you I needed it most. It. And I, I prayed for it and it happened. That is the truck. That is the beautiful truck. And I, and I want to thank also. Ah, yeah. And another thing, after getting the truck, I had a problem of license because I... Back at home, I had a heavy license, a heavyweight license. That's right. Now, to get the, the duplicate here, it was a bit complicated. But thank God, I got a means to get the duplicate. And on Wednesday, someone was coming. So he brought the license to me. I've been trying to get the, to the person to know. He just called me on Wednesday that, come on Sunday morning and collect your license. So I passed that this morning and Whoa. collected the Cameroonian license. Fire now to convert to the license that I can drive here. My God. And now... And now it's been wonderful. I have stayed in this country for four months, but my life has changed since the day I stepped my leg. Hey! My life has changed. Everything about me has changed. My reasoning, my everything. And there is somebody in this house I want to thank so much. Sister Lee, she has been of great help to me. Even sometimes when I want to come to church, she pays Uber like today. Look at that. She picks me Look to at church, that. but she pays Uber when she's not. Like Whoa. when she's getting late, she pays Uber for me to come to church. I want to say thank you so much, My Sister God. Lee. And I want, to, I want the pastor to pray for this car. I want to use it as also a means to help other people who can't make it to church. I, I want to use hey! it to help people as she helps hey! me. Yes. That's what we are talking about. I want to use it also of the as mind. a source of helping others as she helped me wholeheartedly. And uh, always I will be grateful. 
Thank you, sir. He hear me. It's an impartation that culminated to transformation. Build faith and he acted upon it. And here is the testimony. After four Sunday services, he had been coming with day services. He just knew, but I've been seeing him. He sits here and you see him listening with every five. I used to, I, know, I don't know him by name. I have not spoken to him before, but I know his, his the way he when I'm preaching, I look like the man who, like a man eating the world. And this is the feedback. New dancer. Bring me oil. Hey, Baradosa. Bring me oil. Can I get oil in my office? Give the one in the, bring the one in the bowl. I want to wash him. Don't bother. This one is not dancing. This one is oil. Kakebo Shatapa. See, it's not how long you have lived in America. Four months, and it's just the beginning. Before a year will come to an end, you will not recognize this destiny. When I meet people who are going far in a hurry, I know because they can catch the water and run with it. The Bible said, Do not be hearers only, but be doers of the word. He does the word without the time he went to look for car. Is that what we have been saying here? Have I not quoted that testimony here? I have told you go and look for the car you want to drive in the shop. How many of you have gone? This is a man who have attended four services. He has gone. You for for years you haven't gone yet. That's what makes the difference. It's not hearing the word. It's doing the word. Bring your eyes out. As I know you, this grace speak for you. Shata ke koko kaka ikapao. I enter the shoes of my father and grandfather. As this oil touch your head. I command that this is four months in America. Before a round of six months, ah, your life will be turned around. You will enter a realm of abundance, a realm of fire, a realm of rugged that no man will recognize you. They that have known you before, they will wonder what you have taken. They will ask you what have you touched and where have you been. You will tell them you have encountered God. As I anoint you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. May this oil speak for him. By power, I command the shift of his destiny. May the fire continue to burn. May doors continue to open. As you engage your word, may he return with strange and mega testimony. In Jesus' name. As he wants to use this gift you've given him for the advancement of your kingdom. May his destiny see advancement like never before. He's here about to engage another mission. Show him how the missions of kingdom work. I activate that time to walk over his destiny in a hurry. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. You are blessed, sir. We will anoint the car again after service. Did you come with it? You came with the car? But this is the key. Father, we command this key, this car, is under your charge and under your care. It, there will be no breakdown here. The hand of God takes preeminence over this car. It will be used for the advancement and for the purpose of your kingdom. Even as it will be of tremendous blessing as he starts his life. Father, this is not it. This is a sign to what you are about to do in his destiny. In Jesus' name. Amen. It's where, sir. God bless you. your voices and just begin to worship him. Glory. Exalt him, exalt him. He is the Lord God Almighty. There is none compared to him. There is none beside him. There is none above him. He is God and God alone. Lift up your voices. Worship him. Worship him this morning. Oh, We worship you, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. See you. 
Jesus. Lord, are you there? We raise a song. Can you do that song for me? We raise a song to the Lamb upon the throne. Take it slowly. Just worship. We raise a song. We raise
love you They are not testimony that reveal men. They are re- testimony that reveal the almightiness of the God of men. That's why we are here again to say thank you. Vowing not to share this glory with any mortal man. Because the glory, even though seen enough, but it's due unto thee. You want to speak to us again this moment, Lord? I deny to speak. I remain only an oracle for your word to find expression to Fidelis and to this entire congregation. Speak to me and speak through me. When it's, you're all done, it should be obvious that you spoke. Take the stage, Lord, and have your way. We remain a vessel and nothing more. When you are done, please take the glory. We always satisfy when your name is lifted up. Take this stage, Lord, and have your way. I'm just a vessel. Yes, Lord. And nothing more. When you don't, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to, to see you glorified. Take the stage, take the stage, Lord, and have your way, and have your way. I'm just a vessel, I'm just a vessel, and nothing more, and nothing more, Lord, when you are done. I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied when your name is lifted. Just to see you glorified. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. I'm satisfied. When your name is lifted up, oh, oh, I'm satisfied. When your name is lifted up, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. Yes, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. Jesus mighty name we pray. Hey. Take your seat in heavenly places. Far above all principalities and powers. Hallelujah. Amen. What a moment in his presence. My God. What a testimony, testimony in the house. God is faithful. These are testimonies that reveal the almightiness of God in our midst. Reveal the manifest presence in our midst. Authenticate God's word in our midst. And let the devil know that God is still in the business That's right. to shift men, bless men, and transform the lives of men. That's right. And these are only just a sign to the great things that God is about to do in our lives. We are hearing about breakthrough. We are hearing about instant healing functions. All manner which has been our normal habitat in this commission. God Almighty 
touching even our very body and giving us life. Someone will be healed even this hour. Amen. I want to go into the subject matter very quickly because we are dealing with the core of our POB encounter program, which we um, did not complete and we decided to conclude this Sunday. I trust God that grace will be made available for me to peruse the information I have. And the, the thing with me is, I like to run a point through. We can get up and say and list 20 points of things happening and the sad part and the sad reality is it's not just about listing the points. Because most of the things we are listing, you know. So sometimes we are not wasting time when we carry on a point to drive it home. Some of you just want pa 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 pa. The one you've heard pa 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 pa, you haven't used it. So you are still where you are because the pa 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 you had, you have not engaged it. So sometimes we stay somewhere because it is the urgency of the Lord to drive those things home, so that we will not be here only. In the first service, we talked about obedience. How many of you have not heard about? Is it obedience in novelty? But we spoke. We took an entire service to talk about obedience. And someone would think we are wasting time until you were in the service. To find out that you don't understand obedience. And if you truly understand obedience, it would have ushered you to the realm of power that would have become your experience. And I told the people in the first service and I told the people, I'm telling the people in the second service. Don't say you know when that knowing has not transformed your life. Because until it becomes a revelation, you are only aware Many things you hear, you have had awareness of it, you know it, but it has not become a revelation, it has not changed your life. So listen to it again till you source revelation because it's revelation that makes for transformation. The things you don't do is because it has not been revealed to you. It's not that you don't know them, you know them, but it has not been revealed to you. There's a difference between knowing and being revealed. Many of you know that you are children of God, but it has not been revealed to you. The moment the revelation about the fact that you are a child of God don't know you. The devil that met you that, this night can't meet you again. Just that one singular revelation. Can I shock you? Men of impact, it's not many things they reveal to them that make them impactful. It's one thing that they catch that they run with you. Study our fathers of faith. They caught one revelation and they ran with it. You see, Kume, it's the revelation of holiness he's running with. And he's taking the entire world. It has been revealed to him. And today, <laughs> you can preach holiness. It's not the way he preaches. You preach it, your church will be empty. He will preach it, the church will be full. Because he's running with revelation. Check my father. You want to talk about faith and the mandate of prosperity? Not many things. They came with the dimension revealed to them by God and they are taking their whole storm. You will complain about where they hang, but it's where it's impacting their destiny. It was revealed to them. God spread it. It is not Bible say. It has left the, 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 the letters and it come alive to them. So we are trusting God that these things are revealed to us so that we will run with them. The testimony of our son and the sons in the house today, the testimony are evident of what they know and the confidence and the audacity they are working with is what we are talking about. How can your job be ending and you are not thinking of your family? Many of you, Papa, my family, I don't know the life. They, they say contract is ending. You start lamenting. The co-workers are bothered about him. He's not bothered. He says, God wants me to be here. I'll be here. He doesn't want me to be What a relax. What a comfy. What a trust. Such a God can put you to shame. And he proved himself on the spot. Gave him a testimony to show the other co-workers. That this is my thing about God I've been talking about. I'm not playing games. When I say I walk with God, I walk with God. We might be here, but we are not at the same kedah. I have God, I walk with him. Connect to this my God. Because he's the winning team. You know what this testimony I've done in the destiny of those people around him? He said the body may shoot. You think it's the normal buying? Under pressure, took him for lunch. Oh, that is under, it's not a normal. He's saying that we are, we now we know that you serve a living God. We thought you were a fool in this office. That every now and then you just take small blah, 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 blah. We say, This man is this fool. But now they know it's not foolishness. They know he was initiating wisdom. 
How many of them can have such a move and shift? Maybe some of them have their own sack letter there, but they can't talk because they know that they'll be in the next one hour without job. But the man sat down, rest and calm. I was not even informed. That's how much he has understood to run with. No pressure. What, 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 they call, what an audacious confidence. It's what we call faith. Can, how many times have you gone and checked the car I told you to check? And yet somebody under four services is checking the car. And he didn't have the cobo in his account. His faith brought him something he has been expecting and he would never have landed but by the force of faith. Don't think it's coincidence. Don't dare think it's a coincidence. It's the working of faith. And it came by information revealed to them. May some things be revealed to you this morning that will catapult you to the next level of your destiny. We saw the first, we saw, we're, we're dealing with activating divine power. And the first key we saw in the morning was total obedience. And then I will look at the second key. If you are a, if you are a true son and a child of God in this a son and daughter of this grace, go and li listen to first service at work tomorrow. Where you are going, everywhere you are going, but play first service and listen to it. If you don't have enough time, forward it to where the message starts, and then listen from there. YouTube can be forwarded now. Don't say it's too long. If we, before we cut it, you can forward it. Before they cut, cut it small, small. You can forward it. Go listen to this message from obedience, please. I'm saying that because it's the foundation of everything we are doing now. If you, the first one have not been in view, all this second point is a waste of time. Because what we're about to do now, it should only help you to get you to the place of to the first place. Because if you really want to walk in power, because I thought to a point where I say all of us we have found one thing, one thing at that level. So nobody should sit down and say, I'm right, Mr. Right. Because when we vet you on the principles of scripture, you found that you have failed more than seven times in a day. And it's only mercy that will help us. But our journey is to bring us here, total obedience. Our journey is to bring us to the place of death. Our journey is to bring us to a place where we can begin to talk like Jesus. I do only what I see my father doing. It's a language. Our journey is to get us, get us to that place where the scripture can be true about us. That he wills and do his good pleasures through us. Our journey is to get us to a place where we can talk like Apostle Paul. The life I live is no more my life. But the life of Christ. Christ is living through me. I'm only a vessel for God to find expression. It's the place where you will deny your desires and will completely. And if you must move, it must be because the Lord moved. If you touch, it's because the Lord touched. That your actions are coordinated by divine ordinance not coordinated by your desires. It's a place where when you come into that proximity with God, you suddenly realize that you begin to think like Christ. When the Bible says you have the mind of Christ, it's a walking and a, a level of obedience that ushers you to a place where whilst you think it's your thought, it's the mind of Christ that is at work in you. Where your mind can be validated by God because the mind has become the mind of Christ. When Bible says you satisfy your heart desire, many things that is your fleshy desire, just say, hey, hey, hey. I want to marry the third wife now. And then let God satisfy it. You think that's what the Bible says? Like for many of us men, you know what we'll choose. There's a scripture in the Bible that even pastors don't like. Bishop, marry one wife. Many of us wish, the, wish that scripture was the, otherwise. Bishop, you can marry ten. No, you can't change scripture. I was told that there is a nation that have decided to uh, you must marry two wives. In Africa, and the, the Senegal is it Senegal that is a must now. President have said, President I have two wives, and they say everybody must marry two wives. Kabora Sobe Nabaga, the men must be happy in that country. <laughs> See, the, the days we are, you must know God too, and you must understand scriptures because you scatter tongues and in prison if you don't understand God. You will finish strong. They will bring you a second woman in your home. And they say it's by the law. It will be that serious. And they will give you some good reasons. That women, men are scarce. So women are just idling. I know seeing daughters praying for marriage. How many men pray like that? <laughs> uh, that go pay no said their God. The Bible says we are coming to a time that one, uh, one who, who, what did the scripture say? He said one, seven women will be hunting for one man. 
we are getting there in those days. All men are going for war. They are dying. So women are multiplying in their numbers. Let's not go to there. That kid. <laughs> Somebody say, ah, waiting boy. I'm, I'm, I'm preaching God's word. I'm not talking about talk politics. You're on your own. It was the congregation that mentioned it. If you want to go deeper, go deeper. Number two, how do we activate the power of the most high God? Hear me. Hear these things I'm saying now. You hear what I'm saying? It's for me and you. I beg you. One of the things I want us to do in LMI is to do practical gospel, not storytelling. Um, you, how many of you don't know the story of Jesus? He was born in Bethlehem, the wife of Mary, Joseph, the angel of the Lord came. Don't you know that story? But we need practical gospel. What you can go back and do and enter into the possibilities. We need to understand the principles of the kingdom so that you can run your life by the principles of the kingdom. Not storytelling. So the things we tell you, only do it. If it's not, if it's not work, meet us back and say, Papa, I've been doing this, it's not working. And then we'll talk from that place. I tell you, these things work. It work. And hear me, you need power. My father called me yesterday. Were you there? He called me yesterday. With all the, that, what a humble man. How many fathers who caught sons like that? He called me yesterday. And the matter he spoke about was pertinent. And what did he say? He said, your man of God was telling you people, and I'm telling you today, that don't do good without power. So the moment you find out that you're a good man, which is needed in this journey, the next thing you need to do is to look for power. I showed you in scripture that Jesus was good, but he waited for 30 years to find power before he began to do good. You, you are trying to do good. You haven't waited for power. It's the error. It's why you have put your destiny under scratch. It's why you have put that destiny under all manner of tension and pressure. But I thank God that we, there's a way of power and that's what we are talking about. That somebody under the sound of my voice, these meetings cannot be over when you are normal. You will live and it will be evident that you have conquered a realm. And I call it the realm of power. So after we deal with obedience, the second one is prayer and fasting. Write it down. Prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting. Femini say that this is one of the most potent key to activate divine power. Most potent. After alignment and obedience, you need to go back. If, in fact, if you want to see power, it must be a man and a woman who prays and fasts. Hear me. In Acts chapter 1 verse 8, the Bible says, you will receive power when what happened? When the Holy Ghost come upon you. Can you give me Acts chapter 1 verse 8? Acts 1 8. Harry with I will need speed the scripture. Act 1 8. Because we don't have much time. I, 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 I may, even if I just deal with prayer and one other thing, we're good. Maybe we can turn weekday service to continue this, this, these things. But he shall receive power. Now, now follow me. He shall receive power. After what? The Holy Ghost come upon you. And he shall be witness unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part. Of the head. I wrote here. I said when we receive the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is. The custodian of power. So you have received power. When you receive the Holy Ghost. But the thing is. This power is at a potential level. You need to engage this power. You need to activate the power. The power we are talking about is not found anywhere. It's inside of you. Because if you have received the Holy Ghost, He did not come alone. He came with power. The power we are talking is the Holy Spirit that brings the power. So the moment you surrender to Jesus and you welcome His Spirit, the, the Holy Ghost comes inside of you. When He came, He also came with power. Now, but the power is at the potential level. It is now on us to activate the power for us to use it. If you want to create change, you must activate the power of God in you to create change. The fact that you have received the Holy Spirit does not mean you will create changes. No. You have power, but you have to activate it. You have to stir it up. And until you master how to do it, you will never walk in power. I'm 
I'm showing you one of the short sure keys. You can't go wrong with this key. If you want to see power, you, you must start putting your life in this realm. You must be a man of prayer and fasting. Any power realm you are seeing us manifesting is, is not a mistake we fell inside. Prayers are made. Fastings are made. And there's no way you can do it and not need power. There's no way you can pray. I will shock you. Even when you pray and fast sometimes wrongly, you encounter power. The sad reality is that many people have encountered wrong power in the process. I've had people who have taken 40 days power, fasting and prayer and they met the devil. And then they contacted other spirits that began to use them in the prophetic. And they were running as prophetess under demonic spirit. But they went to look for God. But because their heart were not right, that's why we insist on obedience. So that when you start to fast and pray, you should not contact another spirit. Because when you stand in disalignment and there is no sincerity in your heart and your motives are wrong and you engage in intense fasting and prayer, you will still need power. But the question is, who is sponsoring the power that you encounter? We saw in Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. He said, this kind goeth out not, but by what? Fasting and prayer. Because you have received power, but you need to activate the power. It is by the force of fasting and prayer. Show me a man of power. I will tell you he's a man of fasting and prayer. There are other things that activate the power, but this is one that you cannot. In fact, this one is so powerful because it sustains the given realm to receive. Like any way you, were, you had encountered power, whether by the word, whether by impartation, you will need to come back to here to even sustain it and to amplify it. If you operate in any dimension, the sure way to sharpen it and to activate it is to become a man of prayer and a man that fasts. If you like food, you can't experience this kind of power we are talking about. Some of us, we have gotten to the realm where we have, is, when we say we are fasting, it's because we are not eating at all. Because my normal normal is eating once in a day. That's my normal. Is to eat once in a day. So you start living a fasted life at a certain point. Can I make you? The enemy that is fighting you doesn't eat. He is on a regimented fast against your destiny. And he is also fasting to encounter the devil. For power to waste your life. See, in order for you to understand what we are saying, you need to find a witch and study a witch. Some of you, you play with the things of God because, no, you, you don't see. That's why the Bible said, not be ignorant of the devil's devices. Sometimes it's good, it's wisdom to study some of these occultic powers you hear about. Illuminati, Enkanka, Fang uh, Machinery, all manner. All this occult, you need to you need to come in contact with one of their members and interrogate them. A great man of God recently studied a witch, a, a, a son to a witch. I think that was Apostle Arome. I think it was a son, uh, an, an ex-native doctor or something like that. So he met the son. He, he asked, the, he took a study to find out how the father operated the demonic, the, that demonic realm. The regimented life that that man lived. You will come back as a pastor. You will see where you failed. Because you can't, you can't so These people don't eat. They are on a, a routine fast. Just to meet with the devil. To come back for your destiny. Now you start now. Fire, fire, fire. From what place? With a stomach with food? Is that how you cast a devil? See, every the justice system of God will visit that devil. And cause it to work against you. We saw that in scripture. I was amazed. At the level we come to sacrifice, I was, there is a way the devil can engage it and it offend God that you cannot save me this much. Look at the level and the extent of sacrifice the wicked go through to come and fight you. And the minimal engagement God calls us to do, we can. If you are here, you are not fasting at least once in a week. You are in error. You are not serious with your life and your destiny. That means a week passed, you didn't take a day and fast. You are wicked to your destiny and your life. If you are here, you are struggling with minimal, small, small, 15 minutes of prayers. I've not said we pray in every one hour. That daily, a day will pass. You did not say prayer for 5-10 minutes. 
you are wicked. You are not wicked to yourself, you are wicked to your destiny. You are wicked to the generation in your loins. Because many evil is happening because you did not, you ate and ate your destiny into oblivion. Some of the food that you eat daily, that's how you eat your destiny. You are eating it. Sometimes you must make some sacrifices and contend with your destiny. You see, some of the things we cry about, if we can be rugged for a shift, we will experience it. When was the last time you took a seven days dry fast on that matter that pain you? And said, Lord, change this matter. People pray and say, Lord, either you give me this nation or I die. When last did you pray like that? Every for your life. You have lamented, cried, oh manna. But the Lord is speaking in Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. He said, This can go out not. The meaning is, no matter what you do, if you don't fast and pray, this one will not go. The other one's left, but if it is this kind, there is a realm of power. It's called dunamis. You must source dunamis power to move this one. The question is, have you sourced that power? Hi. Hi. James chapter 5, verse 16. James chapter 5, verse 16, the B part. Mm. I want to provoke somebody this morning. Because we are talking about this power thing. The things to do are obvious. But the question, the thing, we are not doing it. James 5, 15. I will read from the B part. The B part said, the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous availed much. Effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous. That's what? You know what availed much means? It produces power that can cause change. The question is, is you are, you, he, has, he has made you righteous for free. But is your prayer effectual? Is your prayer fervent? Some of you, you prayed last Monday. It was the last time. In fact, last Sunday we came to church. It was the last time you prayed any prayer. As pastors, they pray. Because for morning prayer, you don't show up. So, welcome for another time of prayer. It's your second time you are praying again after this week. And when things go wrong, we blame everybody yet the same way God has showed us to generate power to stop the thing that will come against us. Now, there are some things you can't pray against. Problems will come. Trouble will come. Let, let no pastor say, when I tell you trouble is finished, I'm only saying that I receive power to overcome them. Begin to understand language. When we speak, we speak prophetically in church. I can look and say, your struggle is over. It's a powerful prayer. You know what it means? Receive power to overcome the struggle that, will, that you will face. Because as you remain a man in this evil world, problems are inevitable. Whether you are good or bad, you are, you are a candidate of trouble. So the best thing to do is to know how to source the right power to overcome the problems you, you meet. And when you journey along with God, you begin to enjoy problems. Because you know that when problems come, it's a sign that your next level has come. That for long, if you don't have problems in this kingdom, it's a sign that you have been forgotten. That's how you know that you, you, you might not do. Something is not right. When you are like that and you, oh, my life is good. No problem. Everything is. No, it's because you have been forgotten. It's not a sign that God is with you. It's not a sign. Because great men are men who walk with God. And men who confront battles. They confront Goliath daily. If you miss God, if you kill Goliath, Saul will come after you. So your destiny is, uh, is a warfare. But it's an interesting warfare. Because you are killing the devil and moving forward. Looking for the next devil to kill. Breaking the neck of this one. Looking for another one to destroy. You are a warrior in this kingdom. And when there are no battles, you feel like you are, you are, something is not right. You want to fight. You wait for the next moment to go to your prayer altar. To roar in tongues. To harness power. So that in the morning you can make some declaration and see how some territorial principalities they are bowing. Your Christian life is more interesting because of the battles you won, not because you are just living life. Do you know what you feel each time you overcome a battle? It makes you to serve God more. Now, see the kind of testimony we are having today. Are we not excited to serve God more? If everything was just working without opposition, we will not know God, we will not see God in the scene. 
That's why sometimes you say this matter is not unto death, but it's unto God's glory. So he can allow situation for his glory to be revealed. Because he knows his glory is revealed more when your problems face you. And then he comes in and breaks forth. Learn to pray. Learn to fast. Make it a habit. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus showed us that 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 is the way forward. Let me show you something. Because we are talking about dynamic power and we are talking about you receiving the Holy Ghost and walking in that power. Let me show you something about Jesus' life and then we, we find a way to live from there. Your Jesus, after he received the Holy Ghost, we saw that in Matthew chapter 3, from verse 16, something there about. The Bible said, the heavens opened and then the voice of the Lord and the Holy Ghost came in the form of a dove. You all know that story. So he received Holy Ghost, but yet he was not seeing power. The Bible said that Holy Ghost he received now navigated him into the desert for 40 days for fasting and prayer. That is how the power he received, he activated it for work. That's the way I'm showing you how he operates. Don't say I have Holy Ghost. Now nah, you because you say devil go. No, you are dead. The power have you activated it? He said he will do exceedingly abundantly above all you ask for do according to the power at work at work there's a power that works that power that works is the power you have activated and bring it at the workable state if it's not at the workable state it won't work the power is inside of you in the holy ghost but you must activate it and bring it at the workable state when it's a workable state when you speak it's different from a man who has the power and have not activated it that's why when I have prayed, I am confident. I've seen result after I have prayed well and then back to confront me in the day. And you are even relaxed because you know you have generated the quantum of energy recommended to shift certain situation. You want to activate the power working in you? It's by prayer. It's by prayer. It's by prayer. That's why when you finish pray, you now start speaking and changing it. Your work when you pray and before you pray is different though. A man who have high. Jesus spent 40 days. The Bible says when he returned, Luke chapter 4, 14, he returned in the power of the Holy Ghost. When they start talking about him and it was just Holy Ghost that came, took him to, they didn't talk about power. They say he received Holy Ghost. They didn't, he didn't hear power. But Matthew chapter 4, the Holy Ghost took him to the desert to activate the power. When he finished from the desert, and let me, can, can I shock you more? Anytime you take an intense prayer, Look for God and to find power. The first thing you will find, if you, it's God you are truly seeking, the first thing you meet is the devil. If you are looking for God and you are truly looking for God, the first thing you will meet on that journey is the devil. Because he will first of all want to, but that's why there are many people who have taken 40 days, met the devil, partner with him, and they move forward with a realm of power. And they are prophesying and doing things. Because normally when you are seeking God, you say, I want to now, I'm hungry, I want to go. And you engage to a fast. The first thing that shows up is not God. It's the devil. That's the protocol to find God. <laughs> you meet devil. <laughs> uh, because for you to meet God, the devil must come around. You, you must, your intention must be vetted. Your motive will be vetted. God is a God of choice. He does not superimpose on your will. So he will give you option and the devil is an option. So he will allow the devil to meet you first so that if you really want the devil, you can walk with the devil. He's not superimposing on your will. Because if he was superimposing on your will, the moment he wants to, he's the one that will just drag you, turn your mind, you can't think again, you can't think devil. Now, you'll be, you, you will not be human anymore, you'll be robotic. So anytime you say, I want to seek you, he will allow devil to come first. When the devil proposes option and you say, no, 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 that's when he begins to start considering your option. That, ah, you can be serious. We can now talk. You deny the devil and I am the only option now after the devil. So don't be bothered when things start going wrong and then everything come against you when you are seeking God. Stay on the path that you've chosen to look for him. And then he will spoken of you that they return in the power of the spirit. That's how Jesus did it. Do you know what it means to tarry? To tarry means to pray. He told them to tarry in Jerusalem. They don't think they just went and see tarry means to wait. No. 
Waiting means kaku shatapa. You pray. Pray till something drop. Pray till something come alive. Do you, can, can, let me say something interesting. Do you know that one of the primary gifts that you will receive when the Holy Ghost comes is the gift of praying in tongues? One of the primary gifts that you will receive. You know why? Because praying in tongues is the way to activate and generate the power. So the Lord gives you a tool that you use to activate the power that is tabernacle inside of you. When I study my scripture in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, 4 uh, 14 verse, let's look at verse 4. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, oh yes, chapter 14. And in verse number 4, we'll read from verse number 2 to 4. Quickly. Quickly. 1 Corinthians chapter number 14, give me 2 to 4. Let me show you some few things and then see people pray. When we give the general prayer and fasting in church, join. You see, it's not about how you feel when you are praying, it's to, to activate the power that you will use to cause change. The church will give fasting, you are eating morning after the evening. You think you are trying to help pastor to fast? No, it's your destiny. It's your destiny. Because the, the fact will even help your stomach to cut down. Before, it has a physical repercussion. So, it's a gain gain. <laughs> you don't lose. Even if you fast wrongly, you still gain health. That's the thing about fasting. <laughs> yeah. See, all the junk you've been eating, your system needs to be cleansed and flush. And sometimes we'll say, take liquid fast. Some of you, are, most of you are saying, take five days, three days. Recently, most of my daughters have taken shape because of fasting. See how they responded. See, I tell you, you can't recognize them when they came to LMI the way they came. But thanks to the grace of the house and the spiritual discipline, there were days that take some of them for five, three weeks of five, five days water, Monday to Friday. They eat only in the Saturday, Sunday. We start Monday to Friday. Eat. Now, when you see some of them sing here and you, you, you don't understand what is happening, it's generating and activating of power. If you think it's easy, come and take my microphone and sing. That's when you know that singing itself is power. That's when, ah, you, if you see, when they now finish and hold microphone, some of them, when they pray, if you are a brother, you say, Kai, now how? Now man, they pray on a woman. You hear a daughter hold microphone. You weigh, her, you weigh yourself to when to even propose. <laughs> but the sons of the heart relax. These daughters are just spiritual. Don't be afraid. They are just spiritual daughters. So fear not. You can talk to them and under my supervision. Can we have that scripture? Can we have that scripture? For he that speaketh in an unknown tongues speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him. How be it in the spirit he speaketh mystery? There's a realm of tongues. You speak to God and not speaking to men. You speak mysteries and it's to God. Go down. I want to show you. Because for many of you who think tongues is only to talk to God, no. But he that prophesies, speaketh unto men to edification and exhortation and comfort. If you prophesy, you speak to men, edification. Okay, the, next, the verse 4 now is our error of verse. He came again with the unknown tongues matter. And it shows us another perspective of unknown tongues, which is paramount. And it, this is how the power is generated here. See, you must know, you must, if you are not praying in tongues, receive the gift of tongues in Jesus' name. And make sure you receive it. Meet us for us to pray for you to be baptized in tongues. Because that's the way we will get you into praying in hours of tongues to generate power to survive. I'm showing you who key. You see this man? There are days I spend 12 hours in tongues. I've prayed 14 hours. I think I've prayed highest. I think I've prayed more than 14 hours one time. I've forgotten when I ended up. Just tongues, not prayer points. No prayer points. And I have seen the power as we pray. I'm showing you practical things. This is what pastors do. If you pray in tongues five hours daily, you are more than many pastors in this Maryland. I tell you, you'll be more than many pastors in Maryland as a member, not every. So I'm showing you wisdom to enter into things that 
make people hold microphone and they are having pride about it. So that you, everybody is humble. You know that if we all walk in power, no pride. When we pride in what? The thing you are saying that I do, I do, I do. It is Usher that did it yesterday and it was not a testimony. My intention is to bring everyone in LMI on to walk in power. You like you walk in power and say you want to start church. You know that starting church is another realm. It's not power. If it was power, can I tell you, there are many people more powerful than me, but they can't start church. Within our family, I have brothers that if it is power, sometimes I see that say, but God, what? But everywhere they put them, people will testify of the grace and the power, but they will close the church. They are so powerful that they, all they do is close church. Yet, why the church is closing? Call people and ask about them. They'll say, Mama, me, this is prophet. This man walk in power. These people, five broad, come out, they can prophesy. But it will not be long. Give him a thousand member. Come back after two months. You will see five people. They can't feed themselves. They can't do nothing. So I found out that it's not power that start ministry. So when you start moving in power, don't run. I'm helping you now. Because you walk in power. Don't say, hey, let me start international power ministry. You are finished. That's when your high blow will start. Because you know that to manage men is not easy. When power will move, and then the next minute you see the person that power move, and they had the testimony, and now church praising God and giving testimony by the name of the other pastor. That's when you know. <laughs> you know if you are born again or not. As pastors, we go through things you don't understand. Have you seen a testimony? You pray level. Then the next day you are watching TV in another church. The person is celebrating another grace that changed his life. <laughs> That's when you know that it's not only power that do ministry. Yes, you get to a realm that the Lord will give you other principles to engage. That is different from power. And how to sustain wealth in the kingdom is different from everything. All these prayer people we are doing here. Here we are just showing you basics. The power to cause change. It's different from walking in prosperity. It's different from everyone else. We are now to stop the power of darkness against your destiny. Pray and fast. I'm not saying pray like a pastor for five or ten hours. But the other day, Jesus said, can't you not pray even for one hour? Add up your prayer and let it even make one hour per day. If you can't pray one hour, stress, pray 15 minutes somehow in the afternoon, fire an hour, 15. Round it up that at the end of the day, you have, come, you have finished one hour prayer. That alone can take you to a height. With the backing of the grace you are under, it is sufficient for a businessman to take over. So don't be afraid. Don't think we are calling you for seven hours prayer. No. When you see me, I pull men for long hours. This is that they have destiny beyond that one hour prayer that I'm calling them for. I don't call anybody. Some of you, if I call you for five hours, you die before your time. I can't come and kill you early. So I need you to pray minimally. And then we harness enough power to back you up. And then you, you run. Not all of you are pastors. Some of you are politicians and all manner. You are nurses. Walking in different places. We need to empower you at that level where you are for you to take over them. So four kinds of prayer quickly that you will be praying. Or four kinds of prayer that you will have to be doing that will help you to activate power. I'll just list it. And that will be good for maybe this service. But permit me before I proceed, let me say this. It's quite interesting how the Bible describes who men is. And I found out that men in this kingdom are not defined biologically. When you come to this kingdom, you're, if, you, if they say you're a man, it has a different definition in the kingdom of God. The other day in Luke chapter 18 verse 1, the Bible says men ought always to pray. So if you are not a praying person, you are not a man. In this kingdom, you are not a man. So many of us sons, we think we are men, and you women, because men here is not, it's a, not, a, it's not gender related. It's for every one of us. You hear me? It doesn't matter how much money you have in your bank account. Or whether you are married or not, you are not a man if you are not a praying man. I in this kingdom, it's a man ought always. So how we, do we diagnose if you are a man? The beginning of diagnosis is to check and vet if you pray. When you now pray, that's when you are now called a man to do business with God at that realm. The Bible says, if you fail in the day of adversity, your strength is small. You know why your strength is small? Because you are not a praying man. You did not source enough energy to do business in the days of adversity. I found out the scripture that day is a day called a day of adversity. That the Bible says, if you fail on that day, it, only, it doesn't mean it means your strength is small. Why is your strength small? You are, you are not a man. You didn't source energy in the place of prayer. Don't pray because you have battle. Pray because battle will come. 
<laughs> there are many of you you want to train in the battlefield. That's when, that's how you were tormented. And you came out of that battle, even though you won, but your one hand was chopped off. Many of us have won battle, but we, left, we came back limping. There are many generals that are back from the war. They won the war, but their legs are not there. Their hands are not there. You know what? Because many of us, we are trying to train and develop skill in the battlefield. So that realm of ignorance, before you gain fortification, the enemy will mess you up. But what if we fortify ourselves now? That when you meet a battle, you confront it like David that met Goliath. Do you think that was when he was training? He had been training things with bear and lions. When Goliath confronted him, it was not time to do rehearsal. He had done enough rehearsal to sing the song without shaking. Number one kind of prayer you should be praying. Praying in tongues for long hours. Praying in tongues. We saw 1 Corinthians chapter 14 from verse 4. 4. Praying in tongues. Can I shock you? One of the most powerful man of God in scripture is Apostle Paul. He awaited the walking heaven of Apostle Peter. That was the rock. You know his greatest secret. First Corinthians chapter 4 verse 14. First Corinthians chapter 4 verse 14. Let me show you. <laughs> uh, you see, this is an information. Take it and run with it. We close service now. I'll show you power. There's no two things you need to be learning here. Alright. First Corinthians chapter 4. Alright. Not, right, not these things to shame you. But as my is it is that I'm looking for sons of look for the scripture that says he prayed in tongues more than you all. Next verse, let's see. I'm finding 14. Find the scripture quickly where he say, I pray in tongues more than you all. I know it's verse this verse 14. Oh, verse 14. Not not uh, yeah, verse 14, 18 from 14 to 18, there about not four. Quickly. First Corinthians 14. I'm seeing 4 14 there. Yes, I'm saying they should give me 14, 18. They go, okay, good. Okay, let's, let's read from here. Okay, now the good is 18 is the best from there because of that. I thank my God I speak with tongues more than he. You know what that means? I thank, listen, don't just run with it. I, I was supposed to say, I thank my God that I speak in tongues more than he all. Imagine you are standing before the church and say, I speak in tongues more than you all. You know what it means? Gather all their tongues, stretch it. I speak more than all of them. I know you just look at it and say, okay, if you want to compare me and you. He said, no, more than he all. It means that combine all their praying in tongues. My own, me one, is to pass the entire congregation, the Corinthians congregation, in tongues. That's how much Apostle Paul labor in prayers and in fasting. That man was a prayer machine. You can't make such statement if you are a casual prayer. You know what it means to stand before church and be audacious. I pray in tongues more than you all. You know, don't, don't be. You know, it's a little scripture in Bible that you can pass it and not understand it and run you and say, ah, I pray. and not even see the weight of that scripture. But found in that scripture is the secret of that man. It's the one thing he did more than every, every one of them. The other things, others did it. But he came and saw a statement he made. I pray in tongues more than he all. Where well, was an audacious statement? It means he had so prayed. That he can evaluate in the spirit that the entire church prayer it does not match his prayer. Because what was the instrument he used to compare and set the tongues and the prayer destiny of everybody? It means he must have entered a certain realm by the force of prayer that he could be able to see. So he can enter the church and his eyes open and he will see the quantum of that prayer and say, ah, at all this realm I see, I can pray more than you all. Check what he did. He took the world by storm. Walk in, in strange wisdom. You couldn't kill him. He could not die. He died when he chose to die. You want to walk in power? Tongues. Many of you have been praying my, my prayer, my give me prayer. All this petition prayer of yourself. It, it does not generate power. You only it's mercy of God that he, that's not the way to pray. When you generate prayer by tongues, you now come and command things. You come. I was praying with some people this, 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 this week. 
And there was one of those sessions. After the midnight prayer, the intercession, we just started in tongues. I saw some of them were waiting for prayer point. Ah, second prayer point now, third prayer point. You know, it motivates. See, you don't know how to pray. So they take all these instruments like that, leave you in a room. I heard it was Lawrence. It was, I heard that Hoppo said it. He said, people think they can pray because, you know, music can stir you up. So you, uh, no, no, Holy Ghost, uh-huh. then you are just praying. You are just feeling God. When they move feeling into the whole prayer scene <laughs> and they leave you in a place where no instrumentalist, the fathers of faith, of old, walk in power, we have no work. They didn't have all of these things. They, they were not walking. They were not praying by feeling. They will go to the mountain where it was empty. And they will be there. And they groan for hours. When they came back, they came with real power. No feeling. Not, not vibration, no. It's power they came down with. Nothing to stir you up. You stay. They, 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 they encourage yourself in the Lord. When you have hit three hours of tongues, no music, nothing. You want, you sometimes prayer point motivate you. Because they will just come and say, do you hear? Somebody died in Cameroon now. Let's pray. Now, only that die. You remember all your family members that can die. That fear will make you pray. So, you are motivated by the statement. So, prayer points are good. It motivates people to pray. But what if there are no prayer points? One hour, tongue, two hours, three hours. That's how you generate the power. It's not asking God. It's just rattling in tongues. You can't finish like that and you are empty. I tell you under God. This thing I'm showing you, your former pastor will not tell you. Because it will make you be like him. You see, you know the painful part about this thing I say? Many people will not do it. That's the pain. It's my pain. The pain. You see, I'm saying that pain. That, that, you see, they like that. As you leave this place, hi, that man, pray show. That's all. You will start snoring from now to tomorrow. You get off for of work. Hey, master, that sleep. I was so tired. Come late for pickup. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <don't be> <laughs> Left all night. Come late for service. Somebody say praise God. The second kind of prayer you'll be doing. Prevailing prayers. Prevailing prayers. is still in connection to praying in tongues. And still talking long. Prevailing prayers is you pray. See something happening. It's what we, are, we saw in James chapter 5 verse 16. And it's what we saw in Isaiah chapter 66 verse 7 to 8. If you prevail, you give birth. If you prevail, you give birth. You suddenly you feel a burden. A burden has light in your spirit. You are, this one is not praying to look time. You don't look time. You enter the place of prayer. You know when you stop? It's when the burden is lifted. That's what we call prevailing prayer. Have you never been in time? You just feel sad. You don't know why. Nothing is doing you, but you just feel sad. Joy just left you. God is calling you into prayer. It's a burden for prayer. Appropriate the burden. When you go for that prayer, you pray till the joy comes. You don't pray. And sometimes the joy can come after 12 hours. As you enter the prayer room, you must discharge the burden. Shaka. You don't have a prayer point because you don't even know what is happening. And he doesn't tell you because he wants to keep you to shift things. Lord, I don't know what is happening, but Lord, give me grace. You will pray and enter a room, you start laughing. <laughs> Ah, the joy of the Lord has come. That's how you stop that kind of prayer. If you've not prevailed in prayer, you have not prayed yet. Yes, you have not prayed yet. When we come and talk about audacity, it's because we prevailed. Oh, you did not hear the song, he prevailed. It's because we prevailed. He has prevailed, so that means you should prevail. <laughs> Hallelujah. Better don't go and see, see your own and be waiting. Hallelujah. Next kind of prayer is consistent prayer. Consistent prayer is different from prevailing prayer. Oh. With prevailing prayer, it's a one time stretch. You can knock five hours, seven hours. You are praying, you are just praying to discharge your body. You are just praying in tongues. Three hours for some of you, prevailing prayer can be one hour. You have never prayed because when you started praying, as you pray, you want to look time is two minutes. He said, You thought you have finished three hours. He said, Two minute prayer. He said, Only two minutes. <laughs> The child, this pastor, this you are teaching there. Eh? Yeah, let me pass the whole my own for your praise more. Yeah, I'm not go. Shh, ka, 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 ka. But let me tell you something about consistent prayer. Consistent prayer is potent and powerful. You might not have time to pray for five hours and three hours and seven hours. But can I tell you, 
if you want to activate God's power, pray consistently. A man who prays 15 minutes daily and pray consistently is more powerful than a man who prays seven hours for one week and pray again after next month. You hear what I said now? If you can't pray long, pray consistently. Then every now and then find a time to pray to break for me. But if you pray consistently, every day you have a prayer time. You might start with 15 minutes. Every midnight, you get up. Every midnight. Pray to that consistent prayer becomes a covenant prayer. I'm showing you deep things. I'm, I'm talking it simple, simple. When you live here, if you don't walk in power, you see your own. Me, I'm not there. You'll be the only one who will be powerless. These are the secrets. I'm not saying that go one hour. I'm saying that every 30 minutes, every midnight, 30 minutes, every midnight, 30 minutes, every midnight, Monday through Friday, or Saturday, Sunday, Monday through you know what is happening to this church? The intercessor has been praying midnight prayer for more than how many years now? She leads that session. Every midnight, they get up for one hour. Now, when you see them move in realms, it's not biscuit. They are sourcing a realm of power. And after a while, you see, when you pray constantly, you don't, you don't feel anything. No. It's not as if it's, sometimes it will look boring. Have you not feel some of the midnight prayer? You are looking for prayer points to just make the team pass in a hurry. But see, when you go for too long, you are inviting the spirit that come and tabernacle in that hour. And sometimes it goes with hour of prayer. Specific. Every midnight, God knows. You might think nothing has happened. Till the day you are confirmed with the matter, you show how things will live with ease. You say, ah, I don't pray seven hours like pastor pray. How come I'm able to move this? You have harnessed a realm of power by the force of praying consistently. It has a name. I'll tell you the name of that prayer on Friday. It has a name. That, that, this consistent prayer, it, it brings you to a realm of power that has a name, a Greek name. We'll discuss it on Friday or Wednesday or Friday. Come with me. If you miss service on Wednesday or Friday, you have missed destiny. <laughs> no, you have not missed destiny. I've only missed service. Let somebody now not start crying here. Hallelujah. So come with me and I'll show you this different, how we walk into it. But praying consistently will usher you there. Then another potent prayer and, 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 and you pray is prayer of intercession. Prayer of what? If you want to pray, let your prayer not be me, my, my family, my, me, my. What's the why? Because a man who prays well and who activate power, you don't struggle to intercede for your family. You declare and change things immediately. Do you think you can spend the whole night interceding for the nation, interceding for others? And then you get up in the morning and say, I speak peace in my home. Peace will not come. God is looking for a man to be an intercessor. When you fill in that gap, when you have finished accomplishing that assignment, just lift up your mouth and say one thing for your family. You know stress. You watch how God will come on the scene to make it happen for you. I don't pray for my family, but I see things that God is doing for my family. You can't deny the evidence. Every now and then, I will just get up. It's recently my sister, thanks to my sister back home. Every one hour now, I pray for my family because I'm praying for our family, then I just instigate my own now. So every one hour, from six after I finish prayer line, we, we pray for one hour. Then I will now connect, pray for my family and her family. We just, family thing, just to keep that. But I wasn't, but yet, you can't deny the hand of God on my family. In every realm. That's why I knew as I labor for you, God labor for me. Because when, when the devil will show up, I will remind him of, Lord, I was praying for your people. And then suddenly, one declaration, the hand of the devil lifts up. You source power when you stand the gap for others. God is looking for intercessors. And anybody who says, I want to pray for people, you activate the power at work. And lastly, Kingdom advancement prayer. Kingdom advancement prayer. Write it down. This is the last thing I'm telling you. Kingdom advancement prayer. Kingdom advancement prayer. Kingdom advancement prayer. Kingdom advancement prayer. Now hear me. If you want to see power, pray kingdom. Seeking for the kingdom of God. And every other thing will be added. 
In Acts chapter 4, verse 27 to 20, right down to 33, the Bible talk about the apostles. They gathered and prayed after the church came under persecution. And why they pray? And they said they were praying kingdom. They said, Lord, anoint us so that through our hands we can rot signs and wonders. Verse 27. When they prayed, come down to 31. The Bible said it was earthquake. And from 33, give me verse 33 of that scripture. Verse 33. Verse 33. And with great power. Someone say great power. Gave the apostle witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. Why? Because they prayed. They prayed kingdom. They were focused at kingdom. They step out for kingdom. They attacked them. The church gathered. They said, why did they eat the wretch? And why did the men imagine vain things? After they prayed, they begin to say, Lord, anoint our hands. So that we will stress you. We can heal the sick. It was not about them. It was about kingdom. When they finished that prayer, verse 31, the Bible says, the Holy Ghost came down like thunder. God landed. Shook the building. And then they now, they, they say, with great power. You want to see great power? Be a, be, be a man that focuses on praying kingdom. Pray for souls. You cannot be spending two hours praying for souls, praying for the church, praying for pastor, praying for pastor's family, praying for, and then you, are, you, you, you don't come out with power. You will not know till when you are confronted with situation. That's when you know how much power you have bewildered by the force of interceding for the kingdom. Lord, let the church grow. Anybody fighting the church and the man of God, Holy Ghost fire. Don't only pray for your family. Pray for the God's kingdom. When you he says seek for his kingdom, one way to seek his kingdom is to pray for his kingdom. If you can only pray for his kingdom, you will see his mighty power over your life. Things will happen for your destiny, you'll be shocked. I spend most time praying for the kingdom, praying for souls. Most of the time when we give personal prayer is because we are praying with you. So we want to satisfy your desires. All this thing, let the wish of your father you know, it's not what we pray when we are praying alone. It's not what we pray. When we are praying, oh, let we now pray that let your that car. No, we don't pray that. When we come as a group now, you have need and you are still young spiritually. Before you understand how need are met, let's pray it in that manner. Because if we don't do it, you leave church because of that need. So we need to come and satisfy that need. But for the time will come, you understand that when you come to church, they give need prayer you know that they are helping other baby Christians in church. Because that realm, you know all you need to do is to activate power and make things work. Stand on your feet. After hearing this, if you leave and not pray, you are on too much. It means your father altar, they have gathered together on both sides and mother side too. But they gave a promise to one of our Daughters yesterday, they say it's coming from father's side. For some of you, it's both sides. Both sides. Father's side, mother's side. Mother's side. And then some wrong company you have contacted. He also wear the bag. Do you know that some of your problems, some of your problems are association problems? The spirit fighting some of you is an association connected with somebody. They are power. What is fighting they start fighting you? You say, Lord, I receive the grace of supplication. I receive the grace of supplication. Oh Lord, I receive the grace of supplication. Shade pe te kapala duate, ni kate pe te la suna kapai. Rete te pa kapala kapai duate ti la kapai. Shete le te pe le to kota pora ta kota ta. Shete pa pe pe le ke pe ma rai. Shete pa pa pora ta pa pe. Rato to 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 to. Shete pe le ke pa pe la kapai. Rete pe la kapala duate la kapai. Rete te pa 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 pa. Shete pa 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 pa. Rete te pa 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 pa. Rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa-rupa
Jesus mighty name Amen. if you pray that prayer and you believe you have received it sometimes we don't say this is we don't do too much of acrobatics now uh, sister Genevieve I'm having an instruction for you and your daughter you see from tomorrow I don't, I don't know how I should do this I pray I should do or accommodate it from tomorrow to Sunday and you people do also do me a favor to pray one hour at midnight every day. Can you be? I don't know how your work should do this. Can you permit you to do one hour prayers every midnight for seven days? You work at midnight. You are free during the day. In the morning, I want you and your daughter to find a time that the two of you can meet and pray for one hour. People should work on your schedule. And pray for one hour for seven days every day. As the spirit leads. That prayer will generate power to stop an attack that is coming. And when it comes, it will be a testimony. Because it will lift the family to the next level. And some of the resistance in the family that is making back and forth, it is where you will generate the power. To stop it. Everything against your daughter. I'll be interceding for you people and I'll want update on that prayer. It's important. Can you go lift up your hand? I want to supply you the grace to run with the program. An unction will come on them very strongly and it's a grace for supplication. That battle will not prevail. God will anoint them as they pray. Power! God will anoint them as they pray to overcome the battle that is coming. What the enemy wants to fashion against them. The oil will be strong on them, very heavy. So all shall just be around them. <laughs> Father, we give you thanks. Let them receive the grace, the grace of supplication, the unction, the power to pray. That's right. That's right. That's right. Help them. Help them. Help them. Power. They will pray like never before. They will pray like never before. The stronghold that wants to stop the destiny of this family. This one week prayer will break it. Yes. Help the daughter. Something is the, what is coming on the daughter. The, the heart of God on this is my daughter. But the devil is fighting her. But I want to trust God to put something on her. That will quicken her spiritual sensitivity to come alive. And the fire of God will come alive over her. But after now, after this seven days encounter, there will be no struggle with God anymore. Amen. She will be in God's presence and their God will use her mightily. Mightily. Power. Oh, she has spear on her. Something is coming on her very strongly. Lift up your hand. I just looked at you and I had promotion in my spirit. I just had promotion now. I just looked at her. The first word drop in my spirit promotion. My God, that promotion that is coming is a measure one. <laughs> Receive it. Power! Help her. Receive the promotion. Receive the promotion. I'm about to declare the theme of the month, so make sure you are getting ready. Receive it. Thank you, Lord. Uh, call me this week. We have to start doing business this week week, okay? I have to put you on a program. Last Sunday I was saying some things, possibly I don't know if you heard, but there is a call of God on your life. Forget about everything happening, the distraction, forget it. It's because you have not also answered that call. It is part of the reason why things are not going right. Your solution, you see, the hand of God is upon your family. 
the hand of God is upon your family. God is looking for a Moses to rise. He came and is finding your brother. Your brother is not findable. If he sees you, he will drop the mantle on you even as you are a woman. And what he intended to put on your brother, he will take it from him, put on you. If you align and run with God. And one day your brother will look at you and it will be obvious in history that this is what God was supposed to do through me. Just looking, looking, looking. The one that will align, the power will take over. It's the season. Sometimes things might go wrong because God is bringing you in His presence. It's not about the things happening. It's about what God is doing with you. I'm speaking prophetically over her destiny. When we call you, you will and Yeshua, yeah. Shua. When we call you, you deliver. Sister Quinta, lift up your hand. That's no name. No name greater than yours. While I saw you, I heard the God of increase is visiting you again. The God of increase is visiting you again. The God of increase is visiting you again. And visiting your home and your family. The God of increase is visiting you again. Now, don't think anything has happened yet. The God of increase is still about to visit you. Yes. Power. Ever. Jesus. The God of increase. The God of increase. Shut your hand. I declare the theme of the month. For many of you, this month, yes, Lord. it will be for me and you. Yes. Our month yes. of divine direction. Yes. Yes. Divine direction. Yes. Divine direction. Yes. Hear me. If God, if God's manifest presence finds expression, his power is released. All you now need is direction. That's right. Because with direction, you're being tuned with his will. Mm -hmm. Not just for this month, but for the year. Amen. For many of you, the roadmap of your destiny is about to drop this month. Amen. You will know what to do. Yes, Lord. It will come for some of you like a dream in the night. Amen. Go right, go left. Don't go. Wait here. Do this business. Do this job. Yes, Lord. Send in this document. Amen. Your ears will pop open. Your eyes will pop open. Amen. 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 Deafness has come to an end. Amen. The season of obscurity is over. Amen. Amen. We we'll walk with exactitude. Amen. We we'll understand the times and seasons. Amen. And we we'll walk in the guidance of the Lord. Amen. For the steps of the righteous, he said, are ordered by God. Parasavena. I prophesy over you. I receive it. You will not be lost. Amen. You will be in divine guidance. Amen. You will be under divine direction. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. What you will need to to enter into your blessings will be shown you this month. Amen. Step Amen. by step. It's step low. by step. Ba, 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 ba. Step. You will hear a voice that will say, Go ye to the right. Yes. And go ye to the left. Amen. And sometimes, hear me. This month, when you will not be able to hear him, look at what will happen. The steps of the right church are up. He will just guide your steps. Amen. He will move like that. Yes. You thought you are just going, ah. but you did not know. Uh -huh. He's ordering your step. Amen. 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 So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bring the communion. Hey, my daughter. The Lord will order you your step this month, okay? You, he will give you instruction clearly to do. 
he will not, you will not, see the only problem is if you don't do it but this time it's not men that will talk it's God that will talk and when you hear his voice harden not your heart I looked at her door and God said he'll be giving us specific instruction for our destiny receive the grace to receive those instructions take power so and clearly this month as she tune herself in prayer and listen it will be clear it will be clear like God speaking to a man stop this go here come here like that I I some of you will be shocked you you think you while you are waiting to be too spiritual you'll be in the prayer line in the morning suddenly you will hear as if somebody spoke to you in your spirit you will know you will leave that morning and you will know what to do everything in your business amen there are clients who say don't meet this client Others, you say, they say, ah, see, if God help you, is to open your ears, open your eyes. All these things we are talking, one word from the Lord, your me and you are destiny, not better. Amen. We talk too much because we have not heard God. When you hear God, that's right. Even in some of the things we are doing, sir, ma, you hear me? It's happening already. The Lord say, do now, stop now. See, we will walk with the voice of God and we will enter into realms. Anything you are doing to fine tune your hearing, fine tune it. Some things God connected you to, it will not be by how men do it, it will be by how the Lord leads you. Amen. There was something that that guy told us. He said there was a strategy God gave him. And what he's doing now is the strategy he's selling. You remember in the office? He said, what he's selling, when you say come and learn, it's not that you cannot learn it on YouTube. It's a strategy that God gave him. So you can have a strategy from the Lord. If people fail in businesses, it's because they have not had strategy. It's not because the business is not ready. On this communion table is where the power is. Huh? Yes. Before the communion, we'll do altar call, but on this communion is where the, the power is. If you can dine on this table with revelation. Before I start first service, I took two communion. And every service I take a communion, I try to take a communion before I minister. Now you don't know that. Evangelizer told us on Wednesday to shut up. And the problem is there are some things we should not talk. Because these are secrets. If I now give you all my secrets, you now become like me. You now say we are colleagues. And it's a problem in this Christendom. Because <laughs> That's why you see every great man of God today that are saying that keep your secret. Don't give your secret to people. Even as ministers of the gospel. They are different because of different secrets they have. Don't think they teach everything on the altar. Don't be deceived that they tell you everything. Most of the things people, the songs discover, they are close songs who work closely. Then they will see a certain covenant they work with. <laughs> then they enter into it and they become like fathers and sons. But for some reason, I feel like I'm telling people a lot of things because of the love I have for you. I say a lot of things. Things that I should not say them. If I don't say I should shut up. But you know on Wednesday, he said shut up. That message has been so convicting me. Convicting me that I talk many things. <laughs> convicting me. You preach to me, oh, you don't even know. Personally, like God sent you to come and talk to me that day. Hi. If I did not know you, I would say, so you were planning me. I now gave you platform. You came to address me. <laughs> but she was bringing the counsel of the Lord. And the Lord ministered to me. Anytime you leave a service and feel like they talk to you, they really, the Lord spoke to you. Just, <laughs> just agree, huh? Just agree. God is God. He can have her. Father, this table is the power. You want to say something? Yes, come, come, come. Oh, since ushers are, are, are playing. Yes, sir. I really want to say this because I want people to hear. Because this is a confirmation. I don't know. It's just a confirmation about the man that we have in the house, the man of God. He has said two things. Last week he said something that was said to me by a friend who used to be in ministry too. He told me that I have the call of God upon me and there's a mantle. Because today he talked about a mantle that was handed to my brother 
That's right. by the prophet. This same word, this, my, this friend of mine has been saying it. He told me after the 40 days fasting that the mantle that was given to your brother, God has decided to give it to you. Wow. Because your, I, I, didn't, I, don't, I didn't want it because it's supposed to be my brother. I want him so they have told to you be. this thing I said today before. He told me exact what? Exact. This is the second time. Last week, the exact thing that you said, yes. he told me. He's here. What I believe he's watching now. Because he cut that part and sent to me after the service. Wow. And he was crying after that. Then today again, and we didn't talking. speak. We didn't talk. No. After, and now I'm saying another part. No, of what another said. part now that the mantle that God is interested in your family and he has given that mantle to your brother. brother. But your brother is not ready and he's taking this mantle and giving it to you. To you. And refusing because it's my brother. And I wanted him to ask that. But I don't know. It keeps coming. And today, man of God is saying the same thing. Even when I dream and I see him, you know, we are like we are playing together in the dream. I see the man of God. We are playing. That's this, ministry. This friend of mine stole, I didn't know what it meant. But he told me there are two things. That one, that is to reveal that the man of God is a true man of God. And number two, that was the Holy Spirit um, uh, fellowshipping with you. That's right. And you're not so, using me. Thank you. That, that, it was confirmed. It's just a confirmation of the prophecy. Thank you. You know, she's seen me play with her in the revelation. And that means that she assist her. And, to, and the Lord has given me the burden. Remember I told her, I will put her, start putting her on the program. And the Lord has been I don't know this part of her, me seeing me there. I don't know about it. The things of the spirit don't joke with it. We are not playing games in LMI. The Lord God is here and He's doing business with us. When you eat from this table, drink and eat power. Go with consciousness. I told you I took two. In the... Yes, okay, thank you. But before we partake on this table that has been empowered, I want that if you are if there's a need for you to be in alignment, stand now. It's time. Rush to the altar with me. You want to surrender, you want to align yourself. This is the right time. I want that when you eat of the table today, you will not go back, but with, you will go back with power. Anybody in the house, you want to rededicate your life, you want to surrender, just come to the front. Come to the front. Be clapping as they are coming. Be clapping as they are coming. Be clapping as they are coming. You want to just put your life right. Be clapping. Celebrate God for our mother. Just be clapping as they are coming. Be clapping as they are coming. Be clapping as they are coming. Be clapping. My God. My God. My God. My God. My God. Look at this. Clap as they are coming. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Clap as they are coming. You are joining them. Join them, pass. We want to take the body and the blood. You think you need to rededicate your life? Don't say, oh, I came before. No, come. 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 You need power to stop the battles that are fighting you. And I trust that from this table, it will be released. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm grateful to God. They have come in front. See my brothers, my mothers, my sisters. To rededicate their life to God. Once and again. It's because their hearts are convicted. And I think that it's because God wants to empower them from something better. Repeat this after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. We come to you. We come to you. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. I believe. I believe you died on the cross. You died on the cross to set me free. To set me free. I believe. I believe you rose from the grave. You rose from for the my grave total liberation. For my total liberation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. For saving this day. This day I accept you. I accept as you my Lord. As my Lord and my Savior. And my Savior. I welcome. I welcome your spirit, your spirit upon, me. upon me. Take control, Take control over, me. over me. Cleanse me, Cleanse me with, your precious blood. with your precious blood. Write my name, Write my name in, the book of life. in the book of life. Give me the grace, Give me the grace to, live right. to live right. Thank you, Jesus, Thank you, Jesus for setting me free. For setting me free. In, Jesus name. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pray for you all because you step out again to have an encounter with God. The grace of God will abound. The power of God will be released upon you. Your life will never remain the same. You will break for this time and you will overcome. The power of sin and death is broken against you. And no weapon formed against you shall prosper. May the grace of God abound all over you. Be filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the Spirit. And may the grace of God abound. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Stand on your feet. God bless you. You can walk to your seat. You can walk to your seat. God bless you. Ah, celebrate the Lord for them. Father, we thank you. 
is transformed into your very body and blood that you'll be used this day as a symbol of impartation. We're talking about power. Let your power be activated for your people. As they drink with light and revelation, let something drop over their destiny and take glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Go without observing any protocol quickly. That's right.
they didn't still find my envelope package, right? my, my, my offering envelope. I came with it. So it should be in one of those little. You give me and just can someone give me an envelope? Let me just hold it. They found my, 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 they found it. They found it. I mean, for the first time, oh, you brought all right. First, second, third, yes. I'll just, yeah. I don't prepare my offerings in church. I prepare it in the house. So they didn't see. I kept it in the office. They didn't see it. So all tithers. Okay. Lift up your tithe. The struggle is over. Receive the power to make wealth. May you not be a fervent tither in this house and still, still struggle over you. Amen. As you stand to advance his kingdom, he advances your destiny in Jesus' name. Drop your tithe. Can I say this? Tithing is working. Tithing is working. I will not talk much. I wish they can catch it. I'm not talking about you, you, you are manipulating a tithe. Today you give 10%, tomorrow you give 99.99%. Today you run down, no. I've seen faithful tithing shift things. If you tithe, you don't see results, you are not functional. This morning, I, I was calculating my tithe and I was not getting the figure right. And I feel like I missed out some money which I did not account for and I did to collect it. You know what I did? I just made, I just, I just imagined an income and tithe from that income that will cover any small money I might have forgotten not to have tithe. I just cover. So you are making sure you don't owe God. You, you see, I'm saying this thing now because some of the things we will enter into tomorrow and tell you is this where we are coming from. Don't be surprised. Don't ever be surprised. I cannot be poor. I can't struggle. This man, I'm talking to you. Cut this video. Cut it now. Let it go, Vara. Cut it. So that the day of testimony, somebody will call me. No, after this, say, Pastor, why are you talking like that? You should wait for snow. That's why when I will be there, I will see you to be talking at that event. Because you can talk. Lift up your offerings. Power to make wealth. This is a seed you are sowing. Can I give you an instruction? Speak to your seed. Just speak to it. Command something and attach it to that seed. That offering you are holding, call it a seed. And then speak to it. Attach something you are believing God for. Connect it to that offering. Don't bother. No, you owe one dollar. Say, I want to forget it. It's the instruction I've given you. So, don't be worried about the size of your seed. Prophetic. I don't feel the little now. Make a prayer. Believe God for something. Connect it to the offerings. If you want something to leave, attach it to that offering. And say, Father, as I sow it, let, let this thing be buried. If you want something to come alive, Father, as I sow it, let this kind of thing spring forth. In Jesus' name, it is done. Give and give prophetically and trust that something is happening. Thank you, Lord. While they are giving the offerings, those who are for the project, you want to give your envelope run and come. You want to take a fresh envelope. Our very, very handsome and amiable elder is in possession with very handsome envelope. So, if you come to pick it up, it means you are handsome. <laughs> so, anybody picking envelope. You see, I can't wait for the Lord to deliver us from this section. Because you have to create language to motivate people. I don't like it. <laughs> When did I start saying handsome elder with handsome envelope? If this is not, if, what, <laughs> if this is not the inspiration, where is this coming from? May God deliver us from this segment of the church that we will not need to do this. Hallelujah. So, if you are joining our brother or you want to pick a fresh envelope, do it. Father, I thank you for your son. He's come in faith in such a season to sow, to build your house. May it be evident that this destiny is a Press down, shaking together. 
running over. May he experience that dimension of blessing. Anoint him in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Go and rise in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, sir. Put your hands and celebrate Jesus. On that note, I don't think we have anything. So, make it a date with us this week, services. And we are having a leaders meeting now. At 3, sorry. At 3, and then from 3 to 5, and you have to end at 5, because we are having a one-hour board meeting from 5 to 6. So, the leaders meeting will do justice. Uh, the chairman should take note so that we end at exactly 5, because we will be having a board meeting from 5 to 6. Please, do, 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 do diligent to attend. Uh, I'm, I'm receiving you in my office with, in, with, the, with the emergency now. And there's someone else I have to see. I'm not receiving today because we are having that meeting. Where is the person? I'm not seeing the person. But I said you will find the person for me. Find it in the spirit. Hallelujah. Come and close service. Hallelujah. You don't want to pick the name in the spirit. You want me to tell you. Uh, you don't find it. You are suspended. Praise God. Please, let's stand up. Hallelujah. Let's be on our feet. Um, Before we close, I want to say this. Hallelujah. We have a lot of able men in the house. Please, we encourage you people to join the choir. I mean, the ushery department. We don't, best, we don't need choir. We're ushery. Hallelujah. Please, we know that... Um. We cannot really overemphasize of the benefits and reward that comes when you serve in the house of the Lord. As a matter of fact, in order for you to be, you know, recognized as a member in a church, you have to belong to a department. And Oshwin is one of those departments. Hallelujah. Ebu men, men oye. You hear the voice very heavy. So we need people that will assist us in that department so that when we are under the move of God, we will not get injured and we will not get hurt. Hallelujah. Praise God. And um, a very short announcement, the Austrian department will be having a very brief and a very brief and let me know what I'm going to say, but I'm going to have a meeting with you people. Very important. Hallelujah. Are you visiting us for the first time? Can you just put your hands up? Let your hands be really up so that we can see you. Amen. Hallelujah. So you have to be doing a good job by bringing somebody. You have to do evangelism by bringing somebody next Sunday. Amen. It's just to tell us that we are not evangelizing enough. Amen. I want to come here next Sunday and see new faces. Praise God. Hallelujah. Everything we have received here this morning, afternoon, is sealed with the blood of Jesus. That which you have received will not be stolen in the name of Jesus. The grace to tarry in his presence, we have received it in the name of Jesus. Amen. That as we go to the place of prayer, as we tarry and exercise and begin to put in practice all the different kinds of prayer, oh God, we pray, let there be a change in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. His hand rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Amen. May he cause his face to shine upon you this week in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And the same Lord that brought you here this morning Take you back to your home safely Amen. And you return on Sunday with your testimony In Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. May you share the grace The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ The, the love, love of God, God and the, the sweet fellowship of the, of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Rest and abide in us now and forever Surely his goodness and mercy will follow us All the days of our lives As we dwell in the house of the Lord Forever and ever Amen, Amen. The Lord bless you and happy Sunday